Oh my God, I just found a Prada skirt for $12. <laughs> Hey friends, it's Quinn B, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. It's a Sunday afternoon, 60 degrees here in Northern California where I live, and we are going out to poke around at thrift stores for a couple of hours before I have to pick up my son Torvald from his dad. Now you might be thinking, Quinn B, do you need inventory? Didn't you just go to the bins on Friday? Well, yes, and I realized I still do because I am listing 10 items a day, seven days a week right now as a part-time reseller. That's my goal, and I am feeling a little bit good about myself because I'm making it happen and that's a lot of inventory and I've already processed almost all that inventory that I got on Friday. It's been a chill weekend. Peter went away. Torvald was at his dad's for Friday and Saturday. So I got a lot done. I've photographed almost everything. I think I have like five pieces that I haven't photographed yet. I've built listings for half of it and I ha I can't go to the bins again till Friday. I would like to only shop at the bins right now and see how that goes. But um, if you don't know, my bins was closed for three years and it just opened, so I've only gone twice. They're only open two days a week for very limited hours. I'd go there right now if I could, but they're not open. So I figure I'm gonna pop in my mom might be at Goodwill, but I have not gone to a Goodwill in how many months now? I have not been inside a Goodwill since I started my Bye Bye Goodwill series here on YouTube. I've been trying to find charity shops and little thrift stores that aren't as expensive as Goodwill. So um, I might pop in. I'm also looking for a dress. I have to go to a semi-formal wedding on the beach in Mexico. Poor me. <laughs> Peter's nephew is getting married. and. I he, as usual, doesn't give me any information on any of this stuff. So I'm like, can I look at their wedding website? Turns out it's semi-formal on the beach. So I need like a fancy dress that I actually fit in. I don't fit in any of my older fancy dresses. <laughs> so um, let's see if we can find a few things. This won't be a huge haul. I'm going to be really selective, but maybe we'll pop in a couple stores and see what we see. Let's go. And we'll look at dresses really quickly because, um, well, this looks like cute vintage. I need a dress for that wedding. So look at it. I think they're $7.99. Let me look. All right, this is a dress by Toad and Co. And it's a large. This used to be called Horny Toad. They changed their name and it keeps falling off the hanger. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a size 12. And these particular dresses can do really well, like in a large size, because they have all this gathered ruching. Very classic. So I just have to look them over really well for any issues at this price. All right, this is such a shame. This is Free People 1, which is kind of a higher line of Free People. Look at how cute that is. It looks so romantic. Here's a little, you might miss it if you don't know. It just says FP1, but the hem is all... The hem is all torn up. Such a bummer. Still, I think it's $7.99. This looks like a kind of a curator extra small. It's so boho log and look. Um, there's only a few of them listed and one sold, but they sell for like $50. I have a couple other things in here. Hold on. Okay, so this is a find. This is Tadashi so Shoji, which is a designer in a plus size. It is a long lace gown with a belt, and the belt is attached, which is pretty rare. So they don't mark things up here. That's one of the things about this place. So I'm definitely going to take that. I didn't find a dress for myself, but I've got time. I think I'm going to check out of here just with these few items and go meet my mom at the Goodwill really quick so that you guys can say hi to her. That's always fun, right? Okay, friends, I am breaking my fast, my fast from Goodwill. I'm going to go in Goodwill because I got a text from my mom I only and she's here. I only have 30 minutes, so that's good. Even if I just hang out with her a little bit, I don't even have to get anything. That's funny. I don't think I've ever walked out of a thrift store empty-handed. Have you? Let me know in the comments. Have you ever gone in thrifting and come out with nothing? I honestly don't think I ever have. 
That Salvation Army was awesome, as it usually is. Their prices are really high now. But I got a Tadashi Shoji dress. I've only ever seen that once at a consignment store. So here we go. I'm just kidding. What does my mom say about me? No, she. I'm the favorite, right? I'm, I have a very dry, very sensitive. She always brags about you. I know, but I can't have any anymore. I have so many of those. I don't know what to. But, like, oh, I love them, I, but. I what'd you find there? This, I thought for you. Oh, she's still. Oh. Doesn't look fresh. Dude. No. But isn't that. Look at the back. Oh, I do love it, I though. I love it. Is for it. You? Do they have any sales? Do oh, no, they don't have, have any sales. Space. Oh. So this is how much? Seven? The old navy. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. No. Oh. It's just not quite fresh. Right. I have so little time. This is painful, but I'm here to see my mom. So they have a lot of cute stuff. Um, but they don't do any 50% off sale color tags like you guys have and nothing like that. Oh, here's the dress section. They'll be $9.99. We're going to take a quick look through because I need a dress for the wedding. I must have said that 100. That's really cute. I love everything by this brand Max Studio, but um, it doesn't sell or anything. It's like from Macy's. Let's poke around. Well, this is a brand I love to pick up. Prana. Size small, like, jersey wrap dress. Feels so good, but um, I don't want to pay $10 for it. Comps are more like $25 on that now. I thought they might be higher, but they're not. So this tag just looked interesting. So I looked that up. It's really beautiful. It's a men's robe. Um, it feels amazing, and it's a large, extra large, and it still has the uh, belt with it. So I think I'll pop that up. It's in with the dresses for some reason, but because where else would they put it, I guess. But um, I'll pop up some of the comps on that. Do you guys have suggestions of where I should go to get a semi-formal dress? Please let me know. <laughs> Went to TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack. No luck. So I'm looking at this dress and I'm like, I would love that for myself. Current Air, Los Angeles. Never heard of it, but it just feels so silky and nice. Isn't that pretty? But then look, it has a tag on it. So it's got an, an anthropology tag on it. So I better look this over really good. Let me check the zipper and all that. This is pretty good. Spanx by Sarah Blakely, size XL, just like a shapewear tank. It does have a little spot on the back, but I don't think it's a any big deal. If you ever want to be inspired, you should watch some interviews with her, um, the woman who created Spanx, because she's pretty amazing. Her story is really inspirational for entrepreneurs. I think you should just Google it. Um, all right, I have like so little time. This is sad, but do what we gotta do. This is the marked up section, so everything is 14, but they've got some really cute stuff. Look at these free people pants, size large, like a palazzo pants. Those are so cute. Eileen Fisher size large sweater, but this is the marked up. That's I don't I can't pay 14. I am going to pay 14 for these. I know most of us are sort of slowing down with the Lululemon, but these are the Dance Studio Pants. Oh, they're 12. The Dance Studio Pants. Let me make sure there's nothing wrong with them, but they're still selling for like 40. So, ooh, there's a little Prada number right there. Oh, these have a little bit of wear. Here's a Prada skirt. That's probably worth paying twelve for, right? Well, let me oh my god, I just found a Prada skirt for twelve dollars. <laughs> this is not good, you guys, because I've kind of been swearing off the Goodwill just because of their prices. And 
Um, I've always loved Goodwill. I've shopped there my whole life. But um, in 2019, they stopped doing half off the color tag. They don't have a Sunday sale. They have zero, zero, zero sales. And they have that marked up area. Well, that robe, the two sold comps on it are 85 and 150. And then the Prada skirt and the new with tag anthropology dress in a 2X. I just nailed it in there. And Spanx, I mean, so I don't know what to say. What do you guys think? We need to talk. Do I incorporate a little bit of Goodwill in my model? Or do I say, no, I'm going to the bins? Do I mix it up? I'm so confused. I need your help. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much for watching these videos and hanging out with me. Bye. And the other thing I didn't tell you is I checked out because I had to leave and pick Torvald up. I was on a total time crunch. And I'm walking. I say, was saying goodbye to my mom. And then I look over and I see this Rolling Stones like a... Uh, tea and I'm like oh those are good I and then I pull it out real quick and it's by the brand daydreamer so I handed it to my mom and said I don't have time to check out can you get this for me and I'll I'll give you the money no I gave her the money <laughs> this is the worst telling of the story ever I gave her the seven bucks said can I get this from you on Friday um because I had to go daydreamer makes band teas and things free people sells them they're very expensive so this is like a waffle thermal rolling stones band tea so I'm super excited about that too that's a total bolo I've only found it once or twice so that's a super exciting find so I got like Prada Lululemon the crazy man's luxury robe thing <laughs> um that was an awesome trip okay we'll debrief more later